Here is an example of a complex attack path Node Zero discovered in a healthcare facility that could have resulted in critical data exposure. First, Node Zero discovered a clear text password on a domain controller for a user called Scanner. Then, using that credential, Node Zero discovered a Windows print spooler elsewhere in the network and exploited an RCE vulnerability called Print Nightmare. Node Zero then loaded a remote access tool, RAT, on the exploited Windows print spooler via the RCE vulnerability. Then Node Zero leveraged the RAT and performed an LSAS dump on the compromised system. The LSAS dump allowed Node Zero to obtain multiple valid credentials, one being a domain admin. Node Zero then loaded a RAT on another system using the credential for the domain admin it had previously obtained. Leveraging the second RAT, Node Zero performed a SAM dump on the second system and discovered an NTLM hash for an administrator. This allowed Node Zero to exploit a credential reuse weakness on yet another system, compromising that system too and becoming the local admin. Then Node Zero discovered an AWS cloud credential on that system using the credentials for local admin. It then found an AWS access key on that system as well. Node Zero then verified the credential for that AWS user. The facility did not even know they had an AWS account or system deployed within AWS. Then Node Zero accessed 100,000 plus files containing PII data stored on an S3 bucket using the AWS credentials it previously discovered. This attack path was made possible due to several poor credential policies, unpatched yet known vulnerabilities, data security, and storage oversights. Using the proofs of exploitation provided through the Node Zero UI, the healthcare facility confirmed that Node Zero breached PII data that no one knew was being stored in an S3 bucket. At this time, all weaknesses Node Zero had discovered in the network have been remediated, and all fixes have been verified as effective.